Hey all of you, hope you guys are great. So this is where we left in the last video. We had successfully refactored our entire code. So if you haven't watched that video, I'll link in the i button on the description so you guys can follow that. In this video, we'll talk about the concept of middleware, that why middleware is so important in Express and how we can utilize the power of middleware to build any kind of logic, okay? So you will find that in this entire application, in this entire API, whatever functionality we're going to build, that is going to be highly focused on the middleware. So I made this a dedicated video in which I will tell you the concept of middleware that why it's so powerful, okay? So we're going to create a custom middleware. We're going to use some packages, okay? Simply comment this out. Let's create a custom middleware, okay? So to define our middleware, we have to follow the same structure, which we have follow above. You can see app.use and we have used the express.json middleware, but we're going to create our own middleware. So we'll follow the same structure app.use and middleware generally required three parameter. Okay. So earlier we had two responses. So when it's, when we were requesting for the NFTs or creating NFTs in that we are passing two response, it's request and response, but in middleware, we have three request response and next. Okay, so you can call this third argument anything, but make sure the order would be same. It will act like a middleware, a next, okay, middleware. And here we can define all the logic. So what I can do, I want to execute this middleware every time, no matter what function I call in this entire API, I want that this middleware should work, run, whenever someone call any kind of functions, okay? And one important thing I want to highlight here, the order of the middleware is also very important. So if you define this middleware down below, it will work only in those function which is below the middleware, not above. Okay, so I'll explain what it, what do I mean by that. So let's define here. So what I want to do is I want to simply console log out this information. So I'll say, hey, I am from middleware function. So I want to simply log out this message every time I call any function. So now you have to use this next keyword. Okay, so if you come and you have to use this next keyword, it's very important. If you don't use this next keyword, the entire function will stuck and it will not move. So that's why we have to use this next save it. And now we can use this one. So let's come here. And if we make a request here, come to make a request, get NFT. And if we come back to the code, if we see in the console log and let's me scroll down and here you can see I am from middleware function. Let's come here and let me get the emoji. Okay. So let's come here and let me get the emoji. So I need this hi-fi emoji, simply copy. And that's what I want to pass here. Let's paste here and let's make a request. And here you can see here we have a hi-fi request. So if you come here and if you make other requests like update NFT, you will find that will execute. Do same for the delete. It will work. For single, it will work and same goes for the post method, it will work, okay? So this middleware will work every time, no matter what request you make. If you, if I cut this and if I come here and if I paste down below this NFTs, okay? Get all NFTs and create NFT. So this middleware will only run on this, get single NFT, update NFT and delete NFT because we have place on top of that. Okay, so the order is very important. So if we come back, if we come back here and if I try to get all NFT, if I make a request, this middleware will not work. You can see there is no log in our terminal. There is no log in terminal. If I try to get the single, if I create the post, if I create it, you can see there is no log in the terminal. But if I create any single NFT, if I want to get a single NFT update and delete, I'll get the log. Here you can see, hey, I am from middleware functions. Okay. That's working fine. So order is very important. That's the thing we have to keep in mind. So that's looking fine. What we can do is simply cut this and we have to bring it on top. Okay. So this is the first middleware function we have. Now let's create one more. Okay. So app.use and it's request the three parameter next. And in this, what we want to do is, so let me give you one more example. So in this middleware, what the logic I want to build that whenever someone make a request on get all NFT, I want to show the timestamp of that request. Okay, so let's build that functionality. So we have the request dot request time. So again, we are able to access this request time, which is available in the request object. Okay, and here we're going to call this new date function. Okay, and we're going to take this to string and simple. Okay, and we have to call this next so we can execute it. So that's the simple thing we have to do. Now we want to use it in here. Okay. 
so let me simply console log out this and let me show you what i mean so i want to simply console log out this request dot time so let's come here open up your terminal and let's make a request on get all nfts so let's do it so make a request here we have all the nfts looking fine now here you can see we got the timestamp when the request was made on this get all nft so once you have the timestamp you can build different logic so suppose you have to create any kind of functionality or any kind of offering for a particular individuals based on the time zone or based on the particular time so you can simply able to access the time and on the base of that you have to trigger certain event okay so you can do check you can use this for a hell lot of thing okay so that's how you can use this medieval concept now what i want to do this i want to simply show the request time so i'll say let's say request time and here i want to pass this request time okay so whenever someone will make the request they will have the time so let's come here and that's the response we want to send back and let's come here right now you can see we have no request but now we'll have it so here you can see we got the request time so this at this time the request was made okay so that's the concept of middleware you can use it for multiple purpose okay that's looking fine you can see we have this data if you come here make a request we got the time so no matter how when and who make the request it, they will always have that current time when they are making that request so that's the another middleware we have the concept of middleware is getting clear because we're going to create more middleware if you still have any confusion we're going to create more middleware with more advanced functionality okay so that's the simple concept i try to provide to all of you guys and let's come up here and simply clear up your terminal and we're going to install one thing and which is a morgan so let me show you what it is exactly close this one and we'll come back here go to the packages and file and make sure you can install any version simply type morgan in and install this morgan this package does it will allow you to identify that what request users are making on your api so someone might be making requests for all nft create nft or delete nft so if you want to attach certain event on the base of those requests so you can use this package and you can trigger that event okay so let me show you how it works let's come back here and here we're going to import the morgan so let's come here let's import the morgan first so we'll say app dot use and we're going to import so we'll use morgan and you can see it will automatically get imported and here we have couple of options so here we have combined common dev short teeny okay so we have all of these options but the one i like is dev okay so now it will work fine so let's come here that's working fine now let's go back to the postman and let's try to make a request so when we hit this get all nft you will find a console log so okay here you can see let's come back to the terminal and here you can see this morgan package will give us the request so you can see the what's the method we have called get and the api endpoint we have called api nft stated code 200 and the response that how long it took to fulfill the response so you have all this information okay all this information you have same goes for the post if you make this post request you will have this log you can see this log we have 1201 which is for created okay that's the that's the status code we have defined for create that's also working fine same goes for delete if you hit that you will get the url that what url we have triggered so id4 we have done and it's a successfully so we got 200 okay same goes for the delete and this is really very helpful so when you want to attach any kind of event on the base of the request or a user behavior you can do that so let's come here and let me show you the other option so let's select the teeny one i think it's a teeny yeah teeny and there is not much difference between the dev and the teeny okay so let me show you what is the difference so if you come here the only difference is, is that we don't have the coloring so earlier in the dev we had the color that green red so you will have all the coloring but in teeny one you will not have the color so i will go with the normal dev one and i'll make the request and i will have this color which is highlighting the so it's looking perfect so i believe that you guys have understood that how middleware works how you can create your own and how you can use the morgan package 
as a middleware to identify the request which is coming on your API. So we're going to talk about a lot middleware. Okay, don't need to be confused. If still, if you have any doubt, don't be confused. We're going to talk about a lot because this express is all about middleware. Okay, so that's looking fine and simply copy all of these and comment and paste here. So let's come here, change this to three and we have to remove this comment. So we don't have any comments here. So let's remove this one. Okay, that's come here. Router section, okay, router for NFT. And here we're going to write the router for the user okay so that's what we're going to do in the next video so hope you guys have found this video valuable if you have still any confusion about middleware do leave in the comment section i'll try to help you in that and with that let's move to the next video we'll create the user router and user functionality so let's move to that